Hi, my name is Chris Dunham. We're down here at the beach today to talk about the InnoRax INA446 SUP Locker. Uh, it's a product that I've been using for years. It's fantastic, never fails, top quality. Uh, I've been a surfer my whole life, stand-up paddler and snowboarder. Uh, I've been using Inno products for years and um, they're fantastic. So we're going to take you through the product line and see what you think. So the product we're going to be discussing today is the INA446 SUP Kayak locker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the parts first. So we've just opened the box here. You can see how everything's oriented inside of the box. The first piece we're going to talk about is the ratcheting unit. So this is where you would tension your straps once your boards are engaged. It does have a lock right here. That will connect into the crane unit which is here. So this is the part that actually goes over your boards and keeps them in place. You can see right there. There is a pack of different size rack adapters as we're not sure what kind of rack you may be using. You have something that matches all the shapes of common crossbars and factory racking here. You have a complete list of installation uh, instructions here as well as product contained therein with locks. Last but not least you have an Inno branded rack pad. So this is what will go on the pads to help protect your boards. Okay so now we're going to show you how you would install this side which is the ratchet unit. This also holds true for the crane unit. These are going to be your crossbar adapters and what we offer is there is a square or rectangular bar adapter as well as a round bar adapter. So either one of those, you're going to open up the bottom here, you're going to snap them straight in and that's what's going to give you the grip of the rack onto your crossbar section. We're going to use for purposes of this demonstration a factory rack system which will not require the use of these. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and show you how to install the ratcheting unit onto your factory crossbar. So we're going to go ahead and open up the top here and it's going to click when it's fully open. You're going to take this lever, you're going to bring it all the way over and then you can see where the bolt hangs down with this leg that captures it. That drops right out. Then we're going to go ahead and move it over to our rack. We're going to swing this leg wide, then back underneath. Once you get the ratcheting unit lined up on your racks, to go ahead and lock it down and close it, you're going to use this lever here. But a nice thing about this lever is you can actually open it up to get a better angle when you close it. So with the arm extended, you're going to close straight across, bring the arm back in, and then you're going to go ahead and snap your lid shut. It's just that easy. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the crane unit. So just like the ratcheting unit, we're going to go ahead and swing the bottom leg over underneath our rack. Slide the bolt in. We're going to go ahead and tension the teeth, hand tensioning. Then when we get it where we want it, keep in mind that just like the other side, this does have the extended handle for increased leverage. So you're going to bring it across. Lock it down. You're going to want to bring that back to close off the extension, snap it into place, and you're ready to connect with the other side. Okay, so this is our rack pad that's going to come with the INA446. It's a nice foam pad. It's got double Velcro closures, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And one thing you're going to notice when we open it is it's pre-articulated. In other words, it will fit over a variety of rack shapes better than a traditional tubular pad. Velcro attachment, easy as can be. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and put your board on the racks. So we're going to go ahead and center our board on the rack here. Pull these cables away from underneath. And the beautiful thing about the Inno rack system is with the crane units on the other side, you do not have to walk over and throw a strap over like a traditional rack. You're going to go ahead and depress this lever here with the gray lip. Pull your cable out. Slide your corner unit back, reach over. The cable is going to hook around that lip and then you're going to go ahead and rotate the cranks forward to tension down, keeping the cover open so it doesn't lock you out. 
And we're going to want to go ahead and keep this corner unit on the rail or edge of your board. That way, after you tension down with the pressure, it doesn't leave any marks or ding. Okay, now we've got our boards on. The racks are nice and tight. As you can clearly see, there's two SUPs here. This also holds two long boards and up to three short boards as well. Gonna go ahead and take our key, lock it out. We're ready to go. 